and welcome to another edition of Talkin' Tunes. I am your host, Frank Walsh, and you can see I have a lady here to my right who should be a very familiar face to you listeners and viewers out there. She has been on our show several times in the past, and quite frankly, I don't know what's taken her so long to come back. Mm -hmm. And as you also can she see, say that 10 times fast, she has brought a special guest with her today who is going to be <laughs> accompanying her as she gets up and sings some of her songs. Mm -hmm. So, without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you once again, Sharon Wendy Robertson. Hi, Frank. And Dan Smith. <laughs> yes. How Dan, you, how are you? Good, I'm doing good. How are the you? heck with Sharon. <laughs> uh, everybody Yay! knows her. I was going to say, she hasn't been back because somebody told her not to come back. That's yeah, she, she's been on here before, so the people at home don't need to know about her. That's right. But, uh, it's all about you know, me today. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, but Dan, you know, being the gentleman that we are, why don't we start oh, with the lady? Oh, you give me a chance? Oh, okay. So, Sharon. All right. Yes, Frank. What took you so long to come back and well, welcome? That's right. I, I was waiting. Great comeback. <laughs> that the best you got? Well, I was waiting because <laughs> we have no fun on this show. You should have seen what we did not record today. Right. It's a good thing we I didn't record we that. that. No, we're not going to save that. So I'm. I have Dan Smith now who accompanies me on keyboard, and um, so we're going to do some songs today, like you already just said. That was really good. <laughs> You can all go home now, and, and believe me, folks, uh, put, those click, put those clickers down. It's going to get better. <clears throat> Don't change the channel just yet. No, on a serious note, Sharon. I'm I know sorry, it, folks, but they've been telling jokes for about an hour and a half, and I've just been laughing, so I'm still laughing. We, we were serious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Frank, so? On a serious note, if, yep. we, can, if we can get one. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. um, You've had a new venture in your life, and I know that that's one of the reasons that's why you haven't on. come on. So that's why you right. take, that's a, it, Frank. take a couple of <laughs> seconds to talk about this new venture that you've been uh, launching over the last few months. Yes, well, I'm a songwriter and a singer, but I'm also a reading specialist. And I have a company called The Story Train. Mm -hmm. And I found a perfect place to open up an office in Dartmouth, which is where I live. Um, it's on um, State Road in Dartmouth, and it's called The Story Train Literacy Center. And I do testing and evaluation of um, reading and writing skills and abilities, and I work with kids to help bring them up to grade level. Well, good for you. And so I've, you folks at home, uh, if you know anybody around the Dartmouth area and surrounding, Any if, children. <laughs> if you know any children who need some uh, tutoring assessments help. and tutoring, tutoring help, and, uh, what's yeah. the name of the place again? It's called the Story Train Literacy Center okay. in Dartmouth. That was our shameless plug That's and self-promotion right. for the day. <laughs> but uh, Mr. Smith, why don't you tell the folks at home a little bit about you and how you and uh, Sharon teamed up here. Well, I'd like to start out by saying that I'm also a reading specialist. <laughs> I've been reading all my life and I've gotten very good at it. So really? I'm, I'm a specialist, uh, although I haven't gotten the degree, but it's, it's working out pretty well. Anyway, I, I met Sharon because um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a private detective from one of the local department stores, and she was shoplifting. So uh, she said, well, can't you help me? So I what the heck? So she was in the dressing room, and I was tossing the clothes <laughs> under the, you know, the little space in the, I the do. dressing room. I do. She started singing, That's and I thought, true. wow, it's beautiful. She sings oh, beautifully. Oh, she was singing so while she was shoplifting? I'd, I'd love to be able to Is that help what her. I was doing? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, you were singing. So I said, I'd love to be able to back her up. So I took a piano lesson. And uh, we got together, and uh, it's, it's, it's been, it's been that, it's the rest is history. Out. It's been it's two, magic, weeks, right? and, two weeks. Uh, and weeks. And Capital is already after us to sign uh, a deal, but we're, we're, wait, yeah, we're holding out for the big guys. So. Well, you know, I have to, you know, I, I hate to throw you under the bus, but I thought the last time that <laughs> we were here that, bus. you know, you told me that you like to sing in the shower, but it, it's quite apparent oh, that geez. you like to sing in, uh, <laughs> in, in, in changing in the, booths. In, in the department stores? Yeah. Well, well, I do like to sing, though, Frank. What did she do? <laughs> well, she had me crinkle paper up while she was in there. She might have been pretending a little bit, you know, she yeah, was showering right. or whatever. But, right, you know, okay, guys. It was Enough a good day for her. Stuff, she, she, she made away with two or three garments, and, yeah, right. you know, and I lost my job. So now I have to. This is not true, ladies and gentlemen. Now, did, did you this gave. This is not true, ladies and gentlemen. No. You gave her a reprieve to do the show today, right? <laughs> yeah. she's, out on, she's out on temporary leave to do right. the show. She but, is, um, yes, indeed. But. Uh, so you talk about yeah. your talk about your musical background and um, you know and how you guys did team up. Well, I started playing uh, guitar when I was around five years old, and 
I've been on stage since I was seven. So it's been roughly 20 years I've been on stage now. And, um, <laughs> but uh, I've written a lot of songs. I've written for the orchestra. Uh, I play about 14 different instruments. And, very cool. Uh, uh, right now I have to kind of uh, take it very, very easy because I have a condition that's uh, a neurological condition that prevents me from making a living at it anymore. Well, that's too bad. But I am able to play once in a while. And the keyboard's a lot easier on me than guitar. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's, that's what I've... Uh, uh, when I met Sharon, I offered to uh, mm -hmm. to play backup for her, and she she writes beautiful songs. She has a, an excellent voice, and, mm -hmm. and not we're only still that, doing the has, jokes now. By the she way, has, she has quite <laughs> a she has quite a following too. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I, I read some of your stuff on Facebook, and I listen to your music, and you have quite a following, not yeah. just here locally and, and around the United States, but internationally as well. Mm -hmm. And I know you talked quite a I bit about that music. the last time that I you did. were here. That's right. But, uh, you know, before we get mm -hmm. too serious or go back into our comedic mode. No, we wouldn't mode, want that. <laughs> um, you guys prepared a couple of songs today. Yes, we did. Um, so why don't you mm -hmm. tell the folks at home about the two songs that you two are going to perform? Well, we're going to do um, a classic song that hopefully a lot of people will know. Um, we're doing that one? <laughs> okay. Yes, we're going to do Fever. Fever. Frank. Fever. And we're going to do an original that I wrote. Uh huh. Yeah, called Hold Me. Hold Me. Yes. So if you two want to take your microphones off yes. and uh, get up uh, there and, and get ready to perform. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, I, I appreciate, us, appreciate you staying with us this long, but. Uh, <laughs> Sharon and I go way back, and it's, and it's very apparent that uh, Mr. Smith has as twisted and warped a sense of humor as I have. So, Miss Roxanne, take it away. <laughs> so, we're, the first song we're going to do is Peggy Lee Made It Famous, called Fever. Um, and, okay, Dan. <laughs> Never knew how much I love you Never know how much I care When you put your arms around me I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Fever In the morning Fever all through the night. Sun lights up the daytime. Moon lights up the night. I light up when you call my name and I know I'm gonna treat you right. You give me fever. When you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight. Fever in the morning, fever all through the night. Everybody's got the fever, that is something you all know. Fever isn't such a new thing, fever started long ago. Romeo loved Juliet. Juliet, she felt the same. When he put his arms around her, he said, Julie, babe, you're my flame. You give me fever. When we kiss it, fever, when you're burning you. Fever, I'm on fire. Fever, yeah, I burn for Sue. Captain Smith and Pocahontas, they had a very mad affair. When her daddy tried to kill him, she said, Daddy, oh, don't you dare, he give me fever. With his kisses, fever when he holds me tight. Fever! I'm his missus, daddy, won't you treat him right? Now you've listened to my story. 
Here's the point that I have made. Chicks were born to give you fever. Be it fair and high to send a grade, they give you fever. When you kiss them, fever, if you live, you learn. Fever, till you sizzle, but what a lovely way to burn. What a lovely way to burn. What a lovely way to That's a fun song. <laughs> and now this is an original that I wrote. This is called Hold Me. Hold me, never let me go. Love me, now I'm all alone. Tell me that you want me so. Cause I'll be on this lonely track till my baby comes back, you know. Where's the life I knew where the sweetness of you kept me warm and never feeling blue? You broke my happy heart, you tore it all apart, and now I'm lonely through and through. Oh, hold me, hold me with strong hands. Come on and kiss me like I know you can. Oh, won't you tell me that you understand? Cause I'll be on this lonely track wondering where my baby's at. He's my man. Can't you see I'm dying on my knees crying? Baby, you know it's true. Without you by my side, it feels just like I died. And now I can't let you go. Hold me. Never let me go. Come on and kiss me. Now I'm all alone. Oh, won't you tell me that you want me so? I'm so low. Cause I'll be on this lonely track wondering where my baby's at. He's my man. Cause I'll be on this lonely track till my baby comes back, you know. Cause I'll be on this lonely track Wondering where my baby's at He's my man <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice guys, very nice guys. Ladies and gentlemen, you just heard the vocal stylings and playing of Sharon, Wendy Robertson, and Dan Smith. Come over here, guys. Nicely done there, Dan. Thank you. Sharon, nicely Thank done you. as Thank always. You. Thank you. Now, you wrote that latter song, right? I did. Now, where did you come up with the inspirations to write your songs? Well, I am inspired by all kinds of things in life. Okay. It's all about living and about being true and authentic. 
And so when I have something that inspires me, I love to take photographs. I post a lot of them on Facebook. I love you sunrise do. and sunset. You do. And I, I'm probably one of the few people who's able to take pictures of the sunrise because I'm up early every day. So I get in my truck and I drive and I take pictures of the sunrise wherever I can find them. And so there's not a lot of those on Facebook. Well. Mostly sunsets. I would <laughs> semi-agree with you. Yes. And we can have that conversation <laughs> off air. And um, now. Uh, yeah. Let me ask you, when you write your songs and you have these inspirations, mm -hmm. which come first, the lyrics or the melody? Hmm, the lyrics probably. Mm -hmm. Although not always, but usually the lyrics first, but really just an idea. And then I start thinking about the, the words and then I start humming along to that. I don't play an instrument, mm -hmm. although I think my friend Dan might help me out with some guitar. I was gonna say the last time you were on, I you were picking guitar. up and playing That's around right. with the guitar a little bit. <laughs> And I'm sorry to say I haven't followed through with that. Aww. She will. She will. Oh, but Dan said that he would help me. So now, Dan, uh, you mm -hmm. you are a vocalist as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. And have you written some songs? Yes, I've, I've written uh, over 50 songs. Well, how would you describe your style and what kind of music uh, have you written? Uh, well, I've written all kinds of music except for rap. Okay. I haven't. Although I did write one rap song, um, mm -hmm. but it was more like a uh, for a, a children's. Mm -hmm. um, almost like a, a cart 2D cartoonish kind okay. of thing. Um, but I mostly get my, uh, my ideas from uh, the backs of cereal boxes. That's a, I, <laughs> and I write the music from that. And, uh, so, you know, like Cheerios, I love you. Cheerios, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. I was the one that invented that, and the guy that I was having breakfast with actually took it to Cheerios, and they, they took it from me. So that's I can't wait loss. for the album. You know, the album, you know, maybe with a little Cocoa Puffs and Wheaties. Fruit uh, Loops. Is my next, Fruit my Loops. next album will be Fruit Loops. And, uh, and <laughs> now, uh, there are all kinds of different reasons why I write songs. Sometimes I dream them, or someone will say something and I just you grab have the it. Uh, mostly lyrics come first, but a lot of times the music will. Now, would you say that they are pop or folk or classic rock? Uh, how would I, get, you I get a lot of my uh, uh, inspiration from artists like Harry Chapin, James Taylor, oh. things like that. So I do a lot of ballads, but, uh, but I also have written rock. I've written uh, country, uh, different kinds of things like that. Now, I think it's interesting that you bring up Harry Chapin because don't you two have some kind of an event? That, well, I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing a Harry Chapin tribute night. I haven't done one in three years. Yes. Oh, uh, you are? Okay. With my son. We have yes. some gigs together, but okay. he also has a solo. Okay. Um, well, this one particular this one, one, because I haven't, uh, I spent a year and a half without being able to play at all. Uh -huh. So now uh, through, through doctors and all that, I'm able to perform again occasionally. So I'll be doing a Harry Chapman tribute night for the first time in three years. I used to do one every, every year. And uh, usually we try to collect tips, which we donate to uh, some type of food Thing that because was his Chapin great cause. Was, uh, yeah, he was World Hunger Year. He was the only one on the board that never missed a meeting, which is saying something for Harry because he was always late or absent for some reason or other. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he's a really great writer, and I, uh, I've spent my life listening one to him. One of, one of my idols, yes. and uh, I followed Harry Chapin forever. Yes. And um, one of the greatest humanitarians that there ever was. Yes. In fact, and I think he, he played out of the 365 days, I believe he played close to 300 or more concerts per year. Yes. And from what I understand, that only 10 to 15 to 20 percent of his concerts, he actually got paid. That many of his, his yeah. concerts were for the food Free. charities right. and everything. And, <clears throat> and when he passed, I was devastated. Yes. Devastated, more, more so than, you know, like, you know, and I'm a rock and roll guy from the 80s and the 70s, right. you know, but like the Hendrixes and right. the John Lennons and, I was devastated when Harry Chapin died. I mean, I think of anybody who has passed, he was the one who would affected me the most. So I think that that's a great cause. So why don't you tell the folks at home, um, where, where it is. you know, <laughs> when that is. Sure, it's gonna be October 10th, 7 p.m. and uh, at the Mattapoiset Inn, which is in Mattapoiset, Mass. October 10th? I'm sorry, November 10th. November 10th. October 10th. Okay. I'm going backward. Yes, it's, it's, it was October 10th. No, <laughs> it's November 10th uh, at 7 p.m. <laughs> There's no admission, and certainly you don't have to donate. You can come in and just listen to the music, but if you'd like to donate, all of the money that we, we uh, gather that day will go to probably Mercy Meals and More, which feeds nice. the homeless. Nice. So Very, very uh, nice. That'll be a nice time. Now, as you can see, time winds down pretty quickly, so why don't you talk a little bit about some of the places that you might be playing and yes. some of the things that are coming up for you guys. We are. We, we are doing 
the brunch on Sunday, October 25th at Thai Taste 2 in Dartmouth. Dartmouth, okay. That's at, from 11.30 to 3. And then they have that every month and we're, we're the featured band or duo to play there for the, the brunches at the every, it's the last Sunday of every month. Great. Um, and We're locked in. We're I know locked you're going to be playing in several <laughs> other places now. Um, you keep your website and your Facebook page up, up to date? Up to date. I do. With There's a schedule of um, gigs there. Yes. So let me just say that website once again, Sharon Wendy. Dot com, uh, uh, dot com mm -hmm. and you can get a, a hold of her schedule and you can follow where these two guys are going. Yes. Um, and so, we're available for bookings. And they're available for bookings. Yes, please. <laughs> now, why don't you tell the folks at home about this next song that you're going to but be performing. But they private parties and stuff. You know, I did that. We can do that too. They so do private party, parties, folks. And, you know, Christmas, the holidays are coming up. If you're having a private function or, you know, a small, you want just a nice, you know, mellow kind of acoustic duo to play, um, we can do that. Um, although the keyboard is an acoustic, but that's all right. <laughs> oh, we can do acoustic. I we can, can play my he guitar. We can play you know, guitar. Sure. So we can we can be hired for I know, that as I know, well. We know two and a half holiday <laughs> well, well, songs. Well, if two and a half holidays. Two and a half. <laughs> if the, if there's a pool table there, I'll bring my acoustic. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, it's acoustic. I, all right. We need time is winding down. <laughs> you guys need to sing. Okay, so what are you going to be singing? We're going to sing. Take off your microphones. And well, another favorite of everyone's is. Um, how do you check this? Oh, there it is. Crazy. Because I'm that's our not theme crazy. Song. <laughs> I, think, I think that's appropriate for the show, folks. Okay. All right. <laughs> get up okay. there and, and, and get ready. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for a little bit of comic relief, in a second you are going to be hearing Sharon, Wendy Robertson, and Greg Smith, Dan Smith, I'm sorry, doing uh, the classic song, Crazy. <laughs> Crazy, I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. I You'd love me as long as you wanted And then someday You'd leave me for somebody new
crazy For thinking that my love could hold you And crazy for crying, and I'm crazy for loving you. Crazy for trying, and crazy for crying, and I'm crazy for Thank you. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. So, you know, you need to come back here because, as you can see, that, uh, that clock is winding down. And uh, we have just about as much time left for me to say, Sharon, as always, uh, thanks, it's Frank. a pleasure. Thank you, Frank. Please come on back, Dan. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, so you guys will be back when you can't stay as long? <laughs> Five, Five minutes. Five, Five minutes. minutes. Five minutes is all you get, Frank. That's all we get. <laughs> so for Sharon, Dan, our esteemed director, Roxanne Morse, mm -hmm. Jeff Pickett, and Michael Hammond here at the Smack Studios, as always, tune in and tune on. Mm -hmm. That was good. <laughs>